how to replace the BIOS battery on the IBM ThinkPad laptop with a Model T41, 42, 43 and uh, of similar models so this battery here is the BIOS battery for the laptops you can see here so um, if your battery is running out on low BIOS battery you, uh, when you start the computer you probably see it's a um, time time and date error so what you need to do is just to turn the laptop over now there are a set of screws at the bottom here that you need to take out some of the keyboard screws right here okay. some screws right here you need to take out yeah. here and all the ones down here so I have opened this there's a plastic cover so you need to take out this black you need to take out this black plastic cover at the front here and there are screws beneath it and you need to unscrew all of them there's five at the front here then there's a lot of tray screws and there's a few up here you need to take it out I have on this side here you can see I have placed all the screw in the correct order because all the screw are of different size there are some short one and then there are some long ones so make sure that you line them up in the correct order otherwise when you put it back and if you don't remember where it is then it's going to be a, going to be a mess so to save time I have already taken out all the screws on the back here so just take out the screw and then place them in the correct order so place them in a line so that you know uh, which order to put it back later on once you take out the screws turn the laptop over then open the lid like so once the lid is open you can simply uh, take out this bevel and the keyboard so you just take and pull it out like this then lift up the keyboard you can pull out the keyboard if you wanted to or you can just simply use one hand hold the keyboard with the other hand pull out the front bevel there is a small clip beneath it so I just pull out the keyboard so this keyboard here have a clip and a clip right into there so you can just lift it up with just one cable just simply lift it up this one here also have one cable attached here you can just pull it up and you can take out the front bevel so here is the internal of the laptops and here is the battery so you can simply just pull out the old, old batteries and then replace it with a new one so put the new battery back in make sure the clips go in the right way So push it down and line up the batteries just like so and then we'll just put the back the keyboard back in first so we'll clip it down so make sure we clip down that clip and then put the keyboard back into place then we'll put this bevel in so we we'll lift up the keyboard a little bit push that clip down the keyboard come down and then we push the front bezel back in and so everything's all in place then you can close the lid turn over and from here you can uh, start to use screws uh, the screws back in so we put the screw back in so the big one go in here so this is the size of the screws that goes into the keyboard this will screw the keyboard into place then there's another one here There's another one for the keyboard.
So that's one, two, three, four. That's the four screws for the keyboard. Then now we can screw the small one back in. And then don't forget to put the black plastic back in. So I'll just screw all this small one in. So I'll put it in, screw it in. So basically all you have to do now is just put the screw back in if you want to go ahead and try it on your laptop and do so. Because um, this is boring part, just putting the screw back in. It's um, tedious and can take a long time but... Yep, so I just have to put the screw back in. So I've shown you all the important parts already. This is the part that you just have to put the screw back in. Then again, I'm going to cover it with the black plastic. Okay, now we're going to put this one back in. Okay, 